No, oh, well, even TV. But he, that means he'll have infinite blood, and I've got some strength. <laughs> Ed the Duck. I've seen Ed the Duck before. Oh, he's got plus strength, but he's still got loads of dodge. One, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four blodgers. Two mighty blow. Oh, <laughs> God. Only 11 players, though, so if the claw mighty blow does stuff, it's good. And he can't scum a wizard. Nah, Squirrel Dude, I haven't. Maybe I should. I could scum a wizard. He's got 722. Fuck it. I don't like spending all my treasury, but. Might as well, eh? Yeah, no, that's true, Squirrel Dude, but I just think it's done. That's what I'm saying, I just think it's done, that's all, you know. Alright, see you, Kurgo. Does have witch elves. Hello, Ed the Duck, by the way. I just saw you in chat there. Don't want to get surfed, do I? But I think it'd be rather difficult to surf. These would have to dodge people through, dodge quite a lot through to get to get the, the surf on them. Thing is, if there's a quick snap, we're in trouble. All right, fuck it. Maybe I can load a load a rule of five. Oh, I've got too many good players. <laughs> I think I fucked my phone dropping it. Yes, yeah, I know. I know, Skiro, it's crazy, isn't it? It's yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? It is. It is. I don't like it, though. I don't like being... I don't like being a 
two faced line piece of shit, you know? That's that's my problem, but it is just called being an adult, yeah. That is literally just being an adult, isn't it? him at the end. I'll get the fuck. Kaz done turns a year old. Kick off events are fair and balanced. Well, there's plenty of two faced people, though, isn't there, school? Or? Yeah, maybe Dor could try that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, at least the apple has gone. School, right? Does because that's why I've just that's why I just stopped trying with him. That was it. I just stopped trying with Doe. That was the thing. I just fucking you know you try to reason with him, and then you realise that you just fucking can't. You just cannot reason with him on the forums. So I just fucking gave up. And that's why I, that's why I just act the cunt with Dode on the forums and that because it's just easier, it's just easier to just say you're shitting wrong, and then you know, and not even try to engage with him because if you do try to engage with him, it's just like banging your head against the brick walls. I mean, he just he just got me to the point where I gave up trying to fucking even give him the time of day because there's just no fucking point. So, I mean, I'm never going to try to engage with Dode on the forums. That's 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 pointless. No oh, man, he's gone for the he's gone for the dodgy surf. Greedy, greedy surf coming up. I left it on. Because I thought it's a lot of work if he wants to go for it, but um, I guess he will just get it, won't he? I shouldn't have left it on, I guess.
No, I didn't message Andy. No, I messaged, I messaged uh, Lupac, but didn't get a response. Of course, Andy did, wouldn't have even thought of inviting me. Yeah, exactly, Stotty, yeah. No, no, I, I messaged... I messaged Lupac on the state of the game. Not when... When we were quite happy. I haven't said anything bad to Andy, Dave or ever. So... You know, actually, I think they said last night he wasn't invited. I wasn't invited as I'm hostile to them. Is is that what? Because that's I'm gonna get hostile to them if they're just gonna fucking make shit up. Because that's some fucking bollocks. I haven't said anything bad about either of them ever. So that's some fucking bullshit. If people just want to be cut, then no, it just doesn't matter nothing. Right, what the fuck am I doing here? I'd want to try and surf all these people, then I'll just get counter surfed one. There's no way I'm not going to get counter surfed now. Could I blitz him, push him to there, and then. Uh I just blitz her and then dodge away. I guess that's probably the better play, isn't it? That's pretty good, isn't it? A bit of heat on there. Don't like. I don't want to get him punched by a mighty blow, but then he has strength four, so it might be all right. Jimmy, I think you and Ian Zunk would make good mates. Plus, it would leave Shawnee by himself again, like always. <laughs> yeah, I made a dodge. Outrageous. I mean, he can go for a six plus dodge, and I guess nothing. Oh, because I'm being hostile to Dold. All right. Oh, what, wait, what's this? Oh, there's only eight spots in the village that's be invited. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Nah, fuck them then, I'm not going to fuck them. Fuck them then, they're... Oh, well, no, oh, okay. Right. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? I'd really like to be on. I really think Andy's a great player and I think Zunk's a great person, so that's a shame that I'm, I'm not... There's not a space on the voice chat. I'd really like to be on, on their show.
I'm just gonna mute myself now and it'll be easier. Well, the 1D, the 1D power stuns are mine, but out of rerolls on turn two is amazing, isn't it? Now I can hurt the base, 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 um, and hope things go well. He could blitz with mighty blow, he could mighty blow him, he could block her. But the thing is, he can fucking go around a bit, can he? Hmm. I kind of want to force him into potato. This side, I guess. I think I can bolt next turn, maybe. Fucking on free. Yeah, I think my, my, too much of my team was far away. You know, I've only got two people covering this way anyway, so I think I think this wasn't the turn for the fireball, but hopefully next turn. So he's got no rerolls, I'll base people a bit. Um get killed. Does a pass. No re-rolls. Does a pass instead of a handoff. There's just no need. No need for fucking Inarian levels of disrespect like that.
Yeah, exactly, Dan McCarroll's. Dirty bastard. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So, he has to block her. I'm gonna put him in, no, him there. This guy in there. For something to do, I guess he's just got to stand up. All right, do this blitz first, then. Eh? I guess I could block and move him there and block, but no. I think blitzing here is the best. Or is it? He could blitz there and then he can just block. And then he can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm. Good. Right, now the possibility for GFIs rears its ugly head. Because he could he could go to here, couldn't he? So could GFI a couple of times and then try to dodge out as well. Oh baby. Maybe a Don McEvers, maybe. I haven't played any in football either. Yeah, it was worth the reroll and the uh, the bolt and the reroll, wasn't it? It was a good two hundred and ten k spent. Yeah, well, I guess thirty for the uh, reroll, isn't it? No, 
I just went for the attrition blitz. Yeah, well, he's, he's in a lot of trouble, wasn't he? You know, like, he obviously got blitz, lost a plate to the blitz. Um, and then there was a lot of basing going on, wasn't there? So he didn't have a lot of options apart from pushing down there. Well, he did, I thought. I thought, you know. Yeah, the witch kill as well, yeah. Yeah, exactly, he said to me. Reason. Where's the blitz then? I guess I can make a full cage if I uh, if this guy blitzes, then can just make a full cage. He can do it first as well. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Three. Where, where do I even want the cage? Like here. Fucking hell, freezing. Um, let's go here. I can't do it yet. <laughs> right. to get them down. This is a bit shit. This is a bit shit as well. Good morning, bloody Greek. <laughs> I won't lie. A blitz says you're a noob. <laughs> when you kick off the ball, if you roll a 10, then the opposing team, the defensive team, goes first instead of the offensive team. And, uh,. I got the blitz, this one, the defensive blitz, and uh, was able to cause a guy before the game started, which was pretty good. I don't like that he's succeeding everything without rerolls. That that's the been the the only sticking point. Like it's great that he used his rerolls early, um, and great that he coughed up the ball. But now that his rerolls are gone. I'd like him to fail things. Ah, 
my uh, and the blitz is when yeah once per turn you can move and then hit somebody which is the <laughs> blitz every turn <laughs> I don't think Goliath games is that new <laughs> um, I can blitz the block here first I see what happens here Now this is a bit dumb to base here, especially when we jump up. I think it's kind of alright because it keeps them occupied. If you want to try and get clever with jump up blocks, it's going to be a little bit risky, I think. <sighs> yeah, exactly what Hippie says. The one you splits per round. No, I well. Couldn't I have moved the cage to the Dark Elf logo? Yeah, do you know what? I probably could have done. Nah, I couldn't have gone that far. Because the, these moved forward a couple of squares. They, they couldn't have really got that foot far forward. And if I'd put it here, it would have been base. If this had been if this had been a, a knockdown, I would have tried to make it a cage around here somewhere, to be honest. But with it not being a knockdown, I just thought... You know... No need to push forward too fast, is there still three turns left? <sighs> so it did take three players to get that two dice block. Which I'm kind of alright with at this point. Yeah, exactly, Harry Koo. So I'd rather only keep the cage tight and make it hard for him to get in. It was hard as possible to get in. That's why if I powered him, it would have been a lot safer to push forward. Seven. Two players done with this turn is good though, isn't it? He wants to try and... Oh, he's got to go out there, clever girl. Nice, beg me, get fucked. Not so hard now, are you, you cunt? <laughs> I 
Brilliant. That'll teach fucking Hamish Macbeth, I tell you. I'm kind of tempted to leave the cage base because there's not really anywhere else good to go. <laughs> he's good in he he's, he was good he was good in the uh, he was good in the show wasn't he Hamish Macbeth well, what's his what's the actor's name Robert Carlyle he's a really good actor I think I don't think it works some days. I don't think it, I think it's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, fuck. No rerolls. Red dice pal. <laughs> it was an accident. No rerolls, misclicks done. Brilliant. Accidental uphill red dice fucking stun. <laughs> One dice, pal. Oh, failed the roll. Now, obviously, he was slightly unlucky. He uses rerolls on turn two after uh, after the uh, fucking blitz and everything. But for fuck's sake, about time something failed. I could block him there and get him up. He could blitz her, get her away. He could block. Him then, and then she he could go one, two, three, four, five, six screened off. I mean, that seems that seems it looks like I should be able to screen him off a little bit. Oh, wow, well, even got the pal, wasn't planning on that. It's four, so I can actually follow this and then think about what to do after, after the follow. I think I'm gonna go back to where I was. 
so that he can block him to free him, yep. Yeah. Can make two GFIs this turn if it all works out. Of course it doesn't. Pretty annoying. Mm. Wow, that was really fucking annoying. I really needed him to get knocked down somehow. He's only got one turn left, so at least he can't score. I guess I need the Knoring threat, don't I? More than anything. Just straight forward. Maybe there. Being Ducky wouldn't give you points though, Sam, because he wouldn't, you know, or you saw the ELO would would or ELO would have memory, would it? So if if Ducky had a rating of sixteen fifty, and then he had a game with ogres, he would lose tons of rating points with them. Would that happen? Yeah, he said that, but it does some. It does more than nothing, though, doesn't it, Sam? It does more than nothing. So it would continue, so it, so it doesn't carry over the team, which makes it effectively kind of pointless. So if you play Ducky in his first game, or you play, you know, Herb Derp in his first first game, it's just the same. So it only it only really matters once you've played loads of games. So I just don't think it will make a lot of difference. The way that TV Plus doesn't make a lot of difference, there's not many people spinning on that. I just don't think it's... Uh, on the left, yeah. Yeah, it should have gone one way or the other, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit stupid going the middle. I just don't care, to be honest. But then some people... Dodd was considering um, just having all of your games with a race count, including the first ones of every game and stuff. So... I don't know how much difference it would make. I don't think it would stop the. F I don't. Yeah, somewhat. I don't know. I just don't think it'll. I just don't think it'll work as a progression and everything. I just think it's very hard to make. Have something like that. I mean, try it. Sure. I'm just. I just don't think it'll make a lot of difference. I don't think. Anything would really, but. That could be three dice for these guys. But then he'd have to blitz himself. Which would suck. No, he wouldn't. He can blitz from here, can't he? Yeah. Like, I'm not totally against it, but I just think it's... You know, it'd be like... It'd be, it'd be like coach ranking on Fumble, except it would start anew with each team. And like coach ranking does, do, is a good indicator of who's going to win and stuff. So, 
It's not like I'd hate it, I just think it's... There's no real point to it, I don't think it'd make much of a difference. I just don't think there'd be much point, that's all. But yeah, well maybe it's gonna be better than what we've got now, sure. Pretty lucky to get that touchdown there with a hand off on that. Sam, it's like it's all it's all unfair, isn't it? It's all just going to be said. It's already decided by your opponents, and now it, that would even even make it more so. I don't know. I, look, I just I'm, I don't know enough about it. It'd be good about. It. I think it was the sort of thing we'd have to see what it was like. Some things you can just dismiss out of hand because they're just clearly terrible, can't you? Like full TV plus. Full TV plus is just the invention of an absolute fucking madman. Other, other ratings like whether you just try to qualify the best coach of each race or the best performing team or Uzi or whatever, however you, way you want to do it, it's all up for debate, isn't it? But the only thing you can say with certainty about Blood Bowl is that full TV Plus is terrible and progression makes matching and everything so much fucking harder. Exactly, Shawnee, exactly. And TV isn't the be-all and end-all of everything anyway, is it? Because, you know, you could have an ogre team, a rookie ogre team, you would get the same points for beating, um, you know, like, someone with an ogre team who had a good record and someone who had a better team and stuff. Like, not all TV is equal, is it? Like, this 1500 Chaos team is not the same as, as what you could have for a 1500 Chaos team. Shame that this guy didn't get the score because I'd really like to feed him touchdowns, but. So, like, it's just. There's no other game like it, is there, really? Because, you know, you never fucking lose your cards in a game of. In a game of, uh. Fucking Hearthstone or whatever. You don't. You don't. You know, like, your Pokemons don't die if you lose a battle on, uh. On Pokemon. So, it's like, there's nothing really like it. In games, let's in. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Yeah, I could put in. Double it in with the core. And get revival box there. Oh, it's so fucking cold. I lost super mega ultra VIP last frogman. Yeah, exactly. What well, the, well, the truth is, Sam. Whatever, whatever system you implement is going to have minimal impact because of the lack of players. So the fact that Dodes use that as an, uses that in it as, a, as basically an excuse to get out of TV plus not being good um, doesn't really say a whole lot, does it?
just been fucked here, haven't I? Because uh, my guys will be stunned longer than his, I believe. I mean, I got a blitz, so it's fair in a way, but also very sad and unfair. I think mine are going to stay stunned. Oh no, they didn't. Oh look, it's my sugar daddy. All right, that's Last good. Frog man. All right, that's good. They're not staying stunned then. Yeah, exactly. It's just a ranking system. It's not matching or anything, is it? Yeah, but it's not about whether it's better for you or not, though, is it? Sam Davies, that's the thing, isn't it? It doesn't matter if it's... You don't want to make changes selfishly for yourself, do you? You want what's best for most people and stuff. Number one. But number two... But the games would be just the same for rookie coach. It's not going to change... It's not going to change the matching, is it? Or are you, are you matching by Elo? Or you, but it's not going to change much, because TV Plus doesn't mean much. So... So if you match, are you matching on Elo now? So I'm more likely to play Shawnee. Is that what you're saying, or what? Now these curves aren't as fun as the ogres, because just the expectation is so much higher, isn't it? With the ogres, I, I can lose a game and be like, oh, well, lost with ogres. With these, so the matching wouldn't change. So the games wouldn't be more fun for rookie coaches because the one who's every game is just painfully false because it would be exactly the same matching. Okay. I can understand you wanting to be a salesman, but there's no need to lie. Now oh, there's the guard guy. So he's going to replace the guard guy, which means he's going to get an assist in somewhere. Hmm. Problematic. I'm just getting a system there. Oh, there's a gut. there isn't a system there already. a cage again. So the worst part has been survived. Not completely out of the woods, but um, the initial fucking horror show. Dodge, unbelievable, Jeff. Like, it wouldn't affect matching at all, right? So, it'd just be ranking. And I, I'm hoping a new ranking formula, but I don't know how it would affect it. Like, I, th I think it works. Oh, it does. Would, I, would it add a lot of value to the full season? I just don't think it would make that much difference. Like, I just don't know.
I mean, trying to make Champions Ladder more competitive, Elo makes it more Champions more competitive. It just it's just a different ring system. I don't you don't know until it worked, did you? If it would make it more competitive, I don't know. I just don't think it make much difference. It's just a different ranking formula, isn't it? That's all it would be. It doesn't affect the matching, no, Shoney, but it affect how many points you got from it. So if you were... Yeah, it is, it is... Yeah, the opponent rank is a function of how many games your opponent's played, yeah. So... No, he died. That was a shame, wasn't it? Flat, flat, ripped. Because I, yeah, cause I have put a dead... A dead beast man, dead block beast man on 10. Guess I'd rather have a block block warrior than a block beast man, but I wasn't supposed to know. I'll take another perm. So, what can you do? Not a lot. He can put there and then move the cage around. Could put him in there and then he could go there, which would be nearly full cage. No, I've blocked my path, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> That's what I get for thinking. That would have been the GFI, you double one. <laughs> Yes, yeah, like, it wasn't great, was it? It wasn't fucking great. Not running that loop, like, yeah. The team getting banned wouldn't matter, would it? He just, lose, he just loses a game, so and that's the point. That's the point that Sean is making. If your record is, is really good, then you're gonna have a really bad time for your for your you're gonna have a really bad team for your ranking, aren't you? Um, so yeah, yeah, that's what Sam's saying. That some people will have good teams for their elo, and some team some people will have bad teams for their elo, because that is the problem with like the problem with blood ball, any kind of ranking or matching. The problem with Blood Bowl is the progression aspect. And you don't get it with any other kind of game at all. At all. No, it doesn't entirely depend on that at all, Sam. You, some people will have better teams than others for the same... Yeah, it's a progression. So it's really... That's why, that's why I'm, I'm not against it in principle. It's just... It's just a fucking ball like, with a progression. The progression makes everything bad. I, I've always said that. Right, one, two, three, four, five. We get to here with pretty much everybody. That's a good place to stand, isn't it? A bit of shit having a blitz with 
I guess I don't have to. He could go there. And I could just blitz the witch off. Nah. I want to make sure they're knocked down here. Claw of do anything. Protect the claw mans. Make him roll dice without dodge seems fair. <laughs> Just make a crazy cage for him. He can one dice him. Probably not worth rolling the skull, is it? Let him roll a one on his dodge instead. Doesn't think I have my e blow, is it a blow? Usually a blow BZL. <laughs> yeah, exactly BZL, yeah. But then it'll also be, it won't be a problem, or well, it'll be a smaller problem, but also it'll be a smaller gain, isn't it? There's pros and cons to everything. That's all I'm saying, Sam. It's just that you seem sold on this as if it's gonna it's gonna give you great gains against playing shitters and stuff, and you just seem like really sold on it and everything, and you're like you're like this is gonna be great, which is to be honest wrong. Even if it is great, it's still a bad attitude to have, isn't it? There's pluses and minuses to everything. There's pros and cons to everything, and it's uh, it's. It's you know it could well be really good, but we just we just don't really know, do we? In, until they uh, until they did it, you know. That's the thing. There's there's pros and cons to everything. So I wouldn't want to say it's bad, but I'd, you know I'd be open to it. I'd definitely you know I wouldn't mind trying trying it, but um I wouldn't say yeah. Blood Bowl is a bit shit with the. Uh, with the foot, it's the progression is the killer. The progression is has not always been and will all, it will always be the killer in in Blood Bowl really. Right, this is. Uh, do I want to do a safe move first here? No, I might as well. If he blitzes him, then we can block that. So block here first. See what happens. It is a pal, so I can cage up up there now. Spud gun. Right, so he can block there. He can blitz and then move around. And then he can block. So this is where the blitz comes. The blots. One with the others just in case it's a fucking quad skull. It isn't good. A few players up now, it makes things easier, doesn't it? Don't really want him stranded as well. If he fails, it's just like he didn't do anything. So yeah, I think it's fine to make that dodge. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly, Shawnee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I think I'm quite reasonable. I, I don't. I just think I'm perceived as hostile or whatever. Just, just because people don't agree. <laughs> I have no idea what happens when you spin two teams together. <laughs> Just move. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. WR spinning. Exactly, yeah. It is flawed at its base. Exactly, that's the thing I'll mean. Exactly. There's, there's so many wild variables. Like, it's so... Like, you know, if you were to play chess... And you had whoever the top chess player is now, whatever his fucking name is, against Jellio. He would beat Jellio 100% of the time. And if you had Jellio versus me, Jellio would win 100% of the time. Yeah. So you can have a precise rating there, can't you? And you can have TV Plus or whatever there. Um, but then you've got Blood Bowl where, where you can be starting without a without a rook or without a queen or one one person can have three queens and then you can also have the uh the best blood ball player could lose to a to a a good one really easily and they could also lose to a crap one really easily as well so mm-hmm <laughs> Rip Jellyel. Well, he's really good, though, isn't he? I said chess because he's really uh, Jellyel is really good, but he would lose to who's who's the t who's the top guy? Yeah, true, BZL. Who who's the top guy on 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 the on the chess? It is more about the progression, yeah, but it's still the the look is a huge thing as well. Yeah, that's the one, Carlson. So Carlson would be would beat Jelly all hundred percent of the time, wouldn't he? Without even without even you know being uh being silly. And then Jelly was really good, but it doesn't matter, so Right, so we can blitz him and then just GFI twice and then it's one, isn't it? Because it seems to be getting a bit tricky now to how to how to uh, how to blitz and block and everything to get two bases away when one of them's a guard. And the guard there makes it tricky, I think. We'll put a player there and chain him or something. Maybe I could have pushed him and then blocked there or something, I don't know. Fuck me. <laughs> the GFIs don't seem so good now, do they? After <laughs> three ones in a row. Okay. Hell. See, if I bit the guard, I wouldn't have the, the blocks on movement to free the ball carrier, though. That would have been the thing. I'd have had to just be reduced to blocking the carrier then, so it was difficult. I just forgot his name, Sean. Woody. <laughs> yeah, it is funny, isn't it, Sean? Um, all right, well, there you go. So, so Jelly will might get a win against him. All right, fair enough. But you know, if it was the, if it was the if you if it was the comparable players in Blood Bowl, you'd have a much better chance, wouldn't you? That's all. That's all I was trying to say. 
But then you could have... It's the progression is the killer. I mean, that's the craziest thing about Blood Bowl. It's so hard to get good matching or, or ratings with the progression aspect. Makes it basically impossible, doesn't it? I just think I'll run away and then just let him fucking blitz me. Pretty cool, freak. Might be able to get a one dice or a half dice here, but he's got to roll dice, hasn't he? Um, I've then, if he commits to hitting the ball, which he's kind of got to, then, uh, then I've got there. I'll have players free to to go back anyway, won't I? So. If he doesn't commit to hitting the ball, then he's just fucked because I score. <laughs> he, he, there's no point in putting pressure on for me to score because that just doesn't matter, does it? All styles. Wait, what was that? I was him choosing. I was him choosing. I thought. I heard the clicker, ticker going down. I thought. Whoops. No, he just didn't even try then to get the ball, and he's going to dodge through the middle here. At least it wasn't the strip ball. The strip ball should have run around the side, in my opinion. Because that would have got him. Wouldn't it? The strip baller was like here. You could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. So essentially you just made harder rolls without strip ball than it would have been with strip. Was auto pathing got him by the looks of it. Made a made a four plus dodge instead of a three plus. Thanks to the good old good old sign idea. <laughs> Could three dice him to get an assist, and then he can just walk an assist in, and then this will be three dice. That seems like something that's a good idea. Move him first, I guess. I really don't want the one in nine do out on the block. On the blocks. No, I must have forgot him last turn. Move <laughs> him for no reason. <laughs> oh, great. If that worked, your rating just goes down because obviously you're not as good a player as we thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, BZL. That's the, that's that's what I hate. 
That's what I hate about Dode and Dode's TV Plus. Well, not Dode, Voodoo Mike's TV Plus. The Dode endorses. Because that's literally what they're saying. That's what they're saying, that that the fucking TV Plus is going to find... It's like in full TV Plus, this is. The TV Plus is going to find the right rating for you based on how good you are. Well... It isn't, is it? It's gonna fluctuate wildly because the dice are so fucking crazy in Blood Bowl. Like, it's. The dice aspect of it is crazy, the look aspect of it is crazy. You just really can't have a good system, I don't think. All you can try is. You can just try to find the least shit one. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's it. Well, I mean, saying the dice always decide is a bit strong, Clive. But, you know, that, like, the, all those fucking double skulls and everything, if that had been... If that had been Ed the Duck in the first half after he'd used his rerolls, he would have just he would have lost for, no matter how good he played for the rest of the time, wouldn't he? So and but then similarly if that had been a double power if he'd used the strip baller, that would have been, you know, maybe he's a maybe he's a win for him, no matter how how badly he'd played in the rest of the rolls. So they don't always decide, but they definitely can decide, obviously. But mostly your decisions are gonna have a bigger impact on the dice. But then if you're quite if you're quite uh, close in coaching and stuff, then obviously the, the dice are going to matter more, aren't they? If you have Shawnee play Ducky, say, ten times, it's probably whoever's the luckiest is going to win more in those ten games. Now, if, you pl if, they play, if they play a thousand times, then probably the person who's the best will win more. But <laughs> on an individual match between them, I think it's more likely to be, well, a mistake, a mistake here or there. If one of them plays shit, they'll lose. Or if they make a dumb mistake, they'll probably lose. But um, also, the dice have got a good chance of deciding, it, haven't they? And even then, they can make a dumb, dumb mistake and just not even get punished, like like that uphill block from the witch elf that made that made a that made a cast. Yeah, exactly. Free. I mean, that's rare, though, isn't it? That they would only roll ones. Like you know, like that. Obviously, you can point out that if if the dice were terrible, then somebody would win. But I mean, it's rare that the dice are that terrible. But the dice would have to be, you know, yeah. There's a scale. There's a scale of it, isn't there? Yeah, the coach decisions are definitely important. But it's just uh, in the individual match, the dice. The dice can decide it sometimes, obviously. I just want to try and get star player points. Oh, he's got them already. He's got his level. That's pretty good. What do I end? I don't even know why I'm trying to stop the touchdown. Doesn't matter to me. I should have made the extra GFI, shouldn't have for
I mean, he can't score anyway, can he? Don't know why I did that foul there. Irrelevant, should just made the GFI to there. Yeah, exactly, Wilkin, yeah. Yeah, there you go, Satterfield, yeah, something something like that, yeah. It's not relevant to kill the warrior, yeah, fair enough. There was somebody on Fumble who won with high L's without making a block, which was pretty amazing. But yeah, I should have just uh, made the GFI to make it out of him the dodge away. Oh, that was the only real play to make. I guess he should have been there, looking at looking at this move that he can make. I guess he should have been here. Yeah, two two pluses to get to there, whereas if he'd it'd been another two plus, wouldn't it if I made this? So I should have made the GFI. Better than falling, I think. Yeah, not <laughs> not by choice though, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was against Nurgle. <laughs> because I fucking rolled one on about fucking four blocks. <laughs> Four of those blocks were fucking ones to hit, uh, to hit fucking, <laughs> to hit foul appearance. <laughs> it was a fucking joke. <laughs> he did it with like rookie high or something. Like he did it on purpose. The, the team were called pacifists or something, and uh, he did it on purpose. But uh, yeah, it was ridiculous. VGP's Batman. They did make hardly any, hardly any blocks. Yeah. That was a good chain, wasn't it? Good chain, fair play to him. Because I'd put him there. If I if if I put it any other way, he could have just uh, he could have just two dice out, couldn't he? Like you know, followed with it. Oh, he didn't chain himself out. <laughs> Obviously, he should have uh, he should have powered him to here and then pushed the ball carrier back. Um, so he set up all that chain and then achieved not a lot with it. I guess he's still got a three plus catch, but if he if he pushed himself clear to here, then he would have uh, he would have had the catch on two plus, wouldn't he? He would have given him a GFI to go extra. Try to get him. Oh, he's already got it. He just rolled the two though. <laughs> but then saved the GFI, so I think I think it would have definitely been better to have done the GFI as well. Oh, yeah. really matter. <laughs> oh, yeah, he just pushed the movement guy down. Yeah, I must just misclick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, corner. Yeah, should just miss, just pure miss pick then, right? Yeah, could just push them down. Yeah, that would be that was even better. That was me thinking that just fucking tunnel vision, you know, just thinking like you do in, the, in actual game. If I was watching, I'd be like, yeah, push the movement guy down. Yeah. Crazy GG had the duck. Nice chain, even though it was a bit fucked in the end. <laughs> Oh god, two rerolled into one. Oh, and that's all my winning's gone because I can't replace the warrior. <laughs> because I spent everything on the wizard. Which, to be fair, got us the win. Nah, I don't know. It might, might have been a draw without the wizard. So, yeah. Might have lost without the wizard. You never know. Because I had to score there. But then, only because I was ahead. If it wasn't ahead, I wouldn't have scored when I scored. 
So out blocked by dark elves. Fucking I you know, fucking basing like a motherfucker there. Can't really complain about a dead warrior. If you get out blocked by dark elves, you've done something wrong, haven't you? Yeah, Marza. Trying to change. Change the image, not change myself, because I think I've been completely fair. But, um. You know. Perceived as hostile rather than reasonable. So, I'd rather be perceived as reasonable than hostile. I'm just gonna go guard on Sextus Bones there. This is a big one with it, go block a piling on, isn't it? I guess block and then he's just he's just reliable, isn't he? Like it's a bit shit to not have a piling on guy, especially at this TV. And piling on would get him to block that much quicker, and he can he can hit guys who have block. He's going guard hundred percent. Guess I don't even sack him yet then until I've got 100k. Yeah, PR. Yeah, exactly. It's important though, isn't it? It is important because I, unfortunately I am seen by relevant people as a bit of a prick, which is unfortunate because I'd rather not be seen as a bit of a prick. Um, and I think it's an unjust reputation. But there you go. Alright, still haven't lost, not bad. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.